Hello everyone and happy Monday. Owen Jennings here, spiritual guide, coming in with your energies of the week. Um, channeled, um, my spirit guides um, speaking through me to give you an idea of what the energies of this week are likely to be so that you can navigate the energies and understand perhaps how you might be feeling and why things are, maybe why things are happening in a certain way. So um, it's Monday the 17th of July, so this um, an energy forecast is up until Sunday the 23rd of July. So I hope that you are all keeping well. Um, so when I was consulting with my guides before coming in to record this, um, it is it does feel like a bit of a pivotal week. I think because we have the new moon in Cancer today, 17th of July, um, Cancer being a very sort of emotional water sign, you know, necessary to connect to our emotions. Some of us may be feeling quite emotional, um, especially if you have Cancer anywhere in your sort of astrological um, makeup. Um I'm sure that some of you will watching this will have. Um, but even if you haven't, it's probably affecting you in some way. I'm finding that old stories are coming up to be resolved. Um, you know, things we've been telling ourselves or that aren't really true anymore, but we need to heal them or maybe relationships which aren't working. So a lot has been highlighted over the last few weeks. And I think this new moon is here to help us finally move forward, um, leaving things behind that we no longer no longer need. And I know there's lots more happening astrologically. I'm not an expert in that, which is also suggesting that we're moving into a new, more empowered phase. But to do that, we might need to leave things behind. But it's a very good time um, for manifestation, dreaming bigger, and really going with how you feel. So let's um, see what comes in from my guides and um, yeah, just tune in and see where it resonates within you. So I know everybody, it's a pleasure to be here with you again this week. Right, so Owen's already mentioned the importance of this new moon in Cancer. So, yes, yeah, some of you may well have been feeling emotional. It's certainly a time for new start, setting new intentions. Cancer is also kind of like a dreamy sign. So, you know, have you tuned into your dreams lately? Where have they gone? You know, can you retune in? What are your dreams now? It's a really good time for manifesting as well. You know, what is it you really wish to create going forward? And, and what we mean by that is, you know, really, what is it? Not just, oh, I might do this and I might do that. But, you know, what is it that your heart is trying to tell you? Your heart and your body, right? And your higher self know exactly what you need right now. So really try and tune into them. If you're having feelings within your body um, that are making you feel off, so maybe feelings of nausea or feelings of something's not quite right, that you know, yeah, just that feeling that you're perhaps not in the right place or things aren't happening in alignment, then there is something that isn't right. Okay, so listen to that, try and tune into that and see what it's telling you. Okay, it's a great week for inner reflection, meditation. So do all of those things if you can. Um, in fact, we would suggest you make time to do those things because it is such a pivotal week. With um, these energies as well, we're finding or we're seeing that they're going to concentrate very much around your heart energy. So what is your heart trying to tell you? Okay, um, there is a bit of a spotlight on relationships this week. So there could be a deepening of a relationship. There could even be potential for a new um, important relationship coming in. But just to be careful that whatever stage you're at in a relationship, and we are talking a significant other type relationship, um, don't lose yourself, okay? Um, yes, love, of course, <laughs> give love from your heart, but make sure you're loving yourself first and you're not over-investing 
to the extent that it's going to affect how you feel about yourself, all right? This is very important. It's about boundaries in a relationship. It's about loving somebody, but also loving yourself enough to respect what you need from that relationship. And with this spotlight on relationships, existing relationships are coming up for review, maybe. That's what we're seeing. You know, what is working, what isn't. Maybe have a bit of an audit. How are you feeling in that relationship? Was it showing you? Is it triggering you in any way? Um, because there is an element of heartbreak and loss this week. Now, it may not affect you as um Badly as it sounds, all right, it's it's surrendering, actually. It's surrendering to what your heart is really, really telling you, okay? So it's not, oh, yes, um, maybe I'm not very happy in this relationship or in this circumstances or in this situation, but I'll just get on with it because it's okay, really. But if your heart is still saying to you, no, it's not, and it's really... Um, trying to let you know that it's not working for you, then really you do need to honour that, all right? Um, some of you may see something suddenly in a relationship this week which makes you feel, which makes you realise that things aren't um, as rosy as you had perhaps once thought. Um, it can also be loss of a way of being or a way of doing something, and even though that's a good thing, it can also take time to adjust, all right? But it is all centered around love. So we would imagine that if this is applicable to you, it does come from that place of a relationship. But just know this, if this does affect you in any way, um, or maybe you're going through it already, this too shall pass, all right? And you're learning from it and you'll grow from it, okay? But so that's quite major, but just in the meantime, really looking after yourself this week, we do feel there's a lot of emotion being um, thrown around, not just from you, but from others. Just step back, go into yourself, meditate, get out in nature, whatever works for you to calm your central nervous system and to really connect into what your higher self wants to know and what that heart energy wants you to know. All right. Um, but it is a good week as well for setting your intentions um, and um, really tuning into what you want to manifest, what you want to create going forward. OK, so we'll leave you with that and we do wish you a wonderful week. OK, so that sounded a little bit upsetting, maybe for some of you. Um, but, you know, it doesn't mean it will apply. Uh, these are just the general energies okay but there is I felt like when I was channeling that there is a lot of focus around feelings emotion relationships maybe they just need some tweaking maybe you just need an honest conversation um and just remembering not to lose yourself in all of this it's really important that you honor your values and your beliefs and who you are okay that's that seems quite um quite important well, it's always important but it feels really important this week okay and if you're stuck if you're wondering well you know i'm not sure what's going on and i need some help then there's lots of ways in which i can help you including an intuitive guidance session where i can channel my guides specifically for you my spirit guide hotline of course I also have the Akashic Record, um, clearances and healings I can do for you, plus much more. So reach out to me if you're feeling that you need some help and we can see what might work best for you. All right. Take care, everyone. And I will be back next week. Bye for now. Have a lovely week.